Hey there guys, Crossflex here, and welcome back to more Let's Play World to the West Blind. In the last episode, we finally set off on a nice adventure with all four party members in tow. And in today's episode, hopefully we'll figure out where to go. It's true because it rhymes. Alright, so I left off right in front of this portal. Space, okay, fly thing. Can I... Oh no, I don't think I can reach it. Oh, whew, okay. Hopefully that will respawn. Let's pan the camera and see where I'm supposed to go. Okay, it looks like just up here. Cool. So, head up there, and looks like I'm good. Anything over here? Well, Terry can definitely get up here. If she could fly, that is. Ow, oh, that just takes me here, really? Oh, so that's not really much of anything. Well, at least I can get some health back. Well, can I actually keep going through here? No, it's a wall. Okay. Well, it seems like I've kind of reached a dead end for now at this point. Let me see if there's anywhere else for me to go over here. No, there's a lot for Terry, though. Okay, now I did not explore all the way up here. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Just on him. Dynamite. Knock him. Is that close enough? No, it's not close enough to him. Dang it. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yes. Fight yourselves. Yes. Do it. Kill each other. Alright. There you go. I saved your life. You can thank me later. Alright. Now, let's try this again. Come over here. Will I be able to avoid the grues? Probably not. Better play it safe and try and attack them. And... Nope! Okay. Get out of here. Okay, just make a run for it. Run! Oh, okay, this connects to the cave that I tried exploring earlier. Okay, so let's head back to the totem and try someone else. I have not yet been Clonington since we learned all this exposition stuff. So let's see what Lord Clonington himself can do in a situation such as this. Let us... Oh, I cannot bull rush in this village. I guess it is seen as too destructive. Let us do it here, though, since there is no one telling us that we cannot. Alright. So, there is a rock over here that... Ow. Okay, I really thought one punch was going to do it, but... I was sadly mistaken. Alright. Get this out the way to release that windmill. So, that should activate this switch over here. No. Ow. Okay. What does this do? What does this unlock, exactly? Hmm. Might have to do something underground. Okay, can I climb up here? I can climb up here. Cool. I get a chest for my efforts. Uh, I did not mean to bull rush. It's going to be dangerous. No! Okay, well, at least I can just climb back up. I thought it was going to put me in a spot where I'd have to walk all the way back before I could continue climbing. Okay, so what else is down here? Nothing? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Hip over here. Geronimo! I love that attack so much. I haven't really had a chance to really use it or anything, but it's still fun knowing that it's available to me. Alright, now what is over here that Cologne can do? Stop that, and... Knock this guy's block off. Okay. Um... Do, 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 do. I can't really do anything over here. At least not yet. Hmm. I don't know. There might be something in this screen that I can do. Stop prematurely. Okay, I guess maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely all stuff Clonington didn't really have a part in. Alright, I feel like I'm making some progress, but nowhere near enough progress. Alright, let's grab this health here real quick. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Over here, not Ken. Uh, that Gru was, was he just waiting his turn. Is he an honorable Gru? He wanted to take me one on one like a man? Well, I'll tell you right now, young Gru, you can never face me. Your fists and your fangs are no match for the iron that is Lord Clonington. Alright, finish him off real quick just so I don't have to worry about him later. Yeah, of course that's what that was. Good. That 
stunting at least. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna try ignoring him for now. Uh, anything to do over here? Okay, yes, there is. I can plow that, that, pop up here, and ooh, hieroglyph. Wait, does that look like one of the uh, people from here? Yeah, it kind of looks like the right person, the one with the pigtails. No, never mind, I guess not. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I really like this marble, though. It's really nice uh, stone and stuff. Alright, so, new totem. How close am I to that area? I'm a little far south than I expected to be, but it looks like I get to go back north again soon. Alright, let's uh, destroy this, but does that really do anything? Not really. Alright. Oh, looks like more baboon enemies. Cool. I was wondering when I'd be able to uh, walk him around, wait for his stupid block cycle, and then go in for more. Grab that health. I need it. Ow, 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 ow. Walk him around a couple times. Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm really getting my butt kicked by this guy. He has way more health than I expect him to have. That's the problem. I keep expecting to finish him earlier than I do. That seems to be a problem I run into with Clonington a lot. I always... What the heck is that? That looks scary. Oh my goodness, it's strong too. Ugh. Oh, and very fast. Alright, I'm alive for now. I'm not going to be able to deal with this thing effectively on the hill. Oh, oh, just run. Run, Clinton. You can't def Okay, so now it's going to get through here, it looks like. Oh, that is it for me. Okay, at least there's a totem fairly close by. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, once again, I prove my inability to play Clonington effectively. Don't know why, I just... I keep expecting him to be stronger than he is. Which, I guess if he was a little bit stronger, these enemies would be a little easy to take out. But, I don't know, I just... Not really a huge fan of the Clonington fighting style. Wait for him to rush me. Okay. I'll take the hit anyways. It looks like it doesn't really have a defensive mechanism though, so once I get up in its face, there's not really much it can do to me. Alright. Ooh, I bet those tusk things are gonna be a real problem for Nels. They're gonna be way too fast for him to react to. Okay, got some stones. This area looks entirely exclusive to Clonington, because I can't imagine any other character accessing this area. And come up here. Wow, there's a lot of grooves in this area. Just focus on one at a time, grab some health, knock this block off. Okay, yes, that's right, go into my fists. I'm punching in completely the wrong direction, so you think it's a good idea to run into where my fists are. Brilliant. Mess with these guys. Uh, is there anything up here, though? I mean, there's these three grooves, but it doesn't look like they're really guarding anything. Well, I'm gonna try and finish one off. Take one on at a time so that it's less to worry about. Okay, good. Good, he dropped health. I was needing that. Get away from me. I'm getting some health. Now fight me like a true gentleman. Well, one more to do it. There we go. Okay. Oh, it did unlock something. Uh, I don't hear anything, but I definitely heard something. So that's cool. So it is kind of like Zelda, in that there's going to be certain sections where I have to kill the enemies in order to unlock stuff. I need that help. Whoa, that was another sound effect, wasn't it? Is that just something that happens, or is it like every time I kill one of these blues, something is going to happen? Maybe? Or maybe there's certain grooves that are like keys. Oh, I'll save that health for now. There we go. Because I knew I was about to get hit, so I decided to save it. Take him out, just so I don't have to deal with him later. I would really like to ignore these enemies sometimes, but it just seems like they're going to give me some trouble if I don't. Oh, oh, oh. what is this? What is, what is happening to Clonington? It's kind of like he's trying to get up. But he just can't do it. Alright, so, yeah, I guess I just have to take the long way around. 
Okay, so let's take the bridge across, and I definitely saw a way to go down over here. I wonder if this was locked off previously. Uh, there you go, jump. I guess Clonington can't use ladders. Alright, another scroll. Nice. That's what I live for. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. So Michelin rotted in the dark while Chal and Talalik ruled. So, let's see. Chal was shocked by Michelin's action and she made Talalik act. And the people. So, it looks like they kind of staged a coup. Whoever this Michelin was, they didn't like it. So, they killed him and usurped his throne. This looks like it's near the end of the timeline of the scrolls. So, mm, I'm definitely excited to see where this story is going to go. Where is this area? This whole area seems to have just been that one little area to get that scroll. So, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Short little de well, not short detour. It was a long detour, but I think it's worth it. I always love collecting all these lore things. Obviously, since this is a blind let's play, I'm probably going to miss a lot of stuff, but I'm definitely going to try to do my best to collect every scroll that I can. Ow! Geez, that guy spats. Uh, but yeah, the reason for that is because the reason I wanted to play this game so soon is because I wanted to learn all the lore. So, you can believe me when I say that I'm going to do everything in my ability to scour this area for all the scrolls. Okay, so this connects to that desert. No, it doesn't. It's not the same desert. It just had the same music. Alright, so what's over here? Is there another totem soon? Because, I mean, I don't mind playing this Clonington, but I kind of want to see what some of the other characters can do here. Hmm, okay, there is another totem. Now, I could continue as Clonington, or I can try and have some of the other characters catch up. That might be what I want to do, just to, you know, mix things up. Terry's the furthest behind. I really need to get her butt going. But I need to figure out how to get her past this area over here. So, can she... Oh, duh. Her normal sprint makes her fast enough. Well, that's handy. Okay. Haha, <laughs> fake out. And jump past him. Run. Run. Is there anything over here for this thing to do? I guess not. Okay, I'll let it die. Alright. Let me trigger this guy. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Take control of this guy. Kill the one that I had. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to need you... Oh, oh, jeez. So many enemies everywhere. What do I do? Terry is even more difficult for me to control than Clonington. Jump. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. I really need to kill this thing so it doesn't bother me anymore. There we go. Okay. Now, put him to where I can access... I did not mean to do that. Okay. Come back to me. Walk back over. Activate your W ability. There we go. Now, Terry can get up here. And she can hook shot over here. Hook shot over here. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Now I'm over here. Okay, there was something for Clonington to do over here. But I'm not sure how he's going to get over here. I didn't really see any other way for people to do that. Okay. So, let's see. Can this flail monk do something? Come to me. Aha, I bet it can. Okay, grab this thing for me please. Thank you very much. Come back over here. Now, the other problem is... Where does that switch go? Okay, it looks like it goes there, but Clonington has to destroy this thing first. Now, how would I go about getting Clonington over here? He can climb short ledges. So, it looks like if he climbed up here and took these steps... Okay, he could access a thing. That doesn't really help me too much right now. Go away. I don't need you. I'm thinking right now. Leave a woman alone while she's thinking, please. Okay, so yeah, exactly. If Clonington goes over here, he can access that chest. But unless he can get up on that grass, which I don't think he can, then I don't see what else he can do. Uh, and I think these uh, pillars right here are just too tall for him to climb. I mean, I suppose it's possible for him to climb to them. Wouldn't really know for sure until, well, I tested it out. 
You know what? I might do that. I'll go ahead and have Terry find the next totem. And then I'll swap back. Uh, I did not mean to talk to you. I'll swap back to Clonington. And then I'll have him warp back to that spot. Over here. At the very least, I'll collect this treasure chest. And... Boom! Knock the blocks off. Ow. Take some damage in the process. Grab this. There we go. Alright, so let's come back through here. And I can't... Ow. 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 Okay, try it again. Stop prematurely. Okay, I can climb this. Then come back over here. Climb that. I don't know. Am I going to have time? Am I going to have time? The episode needs to end. Okay, destroy that. And with that destroyed, I have to call the episode. So sorry, guys. Hate to do it. I really do because I really want to keep playing. But I have to end it here. Thanks so much for watching. As always, Lord Clonington thanks your door. You can tell by his angry face and his leg wiggle. He looks like he's made of jelly. But all right, I'm just uh, stalling now. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll see you later.